Hello everyone and welcome! So ever since unicorns broke the game and everyone started picking whatever they want, Cho'Gath rose in popularity. Being top, mid or jungle, with his hard ground control, burst damage and incredible sustain, he managed to carry more than one game. Today we are going to look at different ways to build him, tips and tricks to help you understand him, and finally, who is he good or bad against. Once again, you can jump between the sections if you wish to do so at any point during this video. So let's get on it. Depending on what lane you are, you might want to build different items. The beauty in Cho'Gath is in his flexibility. You can go full AP, AP tank, AP attack speed, full tank or even full attack speed. Anyway, first item is Doran's Ring. The synergy with your passive will definitely sustain your mana on its own. The core item should always be a Rod of Ages. Cho'Gath benefits too much from this item. After 10 minutes, together with Feast, you are already starting to get tanky, and that is only with one item. After Rod of Ages, it's all up to you to build whatever you want. Again, he is very flexible. If you need more damage, go Morelos, as the cooldown reduction will help you a lot. If you need to be a bit more tanky, go Frozen Heart against AD and Spirit Visage or Wit's End against AP. This is your core, the rest is really up to you. If you want to be a mage and need more damage, you can go Zonias or Rabadons. For more tankiness, you can go Abyssal or even Warmox. For boots, just Mercuries or Sorcerers. Don't forget that you can even get more than one Rod of Ages, because they do stack. Now let's bring up some tips. During laning phase, don't forget that you can turn on and off your E. This will prevent you from passively pushing your lane when you don't want to. Especially if you level up your E first. You don't want to have it on during the first two waves, otherwise you will be easy prey for the junglers. Speaking of leveling up skills. By default you should be maxing your W first. It does almost the same damage as Q, but with each rank, the silence will get longer duration. Starting with 1.5 seconds and ending up with 2.5 seconds of silence. Whenever you are engaging, you have two options. You either Q first and then silence them before they recover. Or you do it the other way around. Silence is your way to prevent them from flashing away. This often gives you time to get close for a bite. Keep in mind that your Q can be avoided, not only does it have a delay, but you can also see the cast animation. Many people use Feast as an execute, it shouldn't be like that. Unlike Garen or Darius, your ultimate does not have damage increase on execute. All you get is one stack of health that you can get by simply eating minions and it even refounds half of the cooldown. You are technically wasting damage on overkill if you are executing someone. Instead, you should try and use it during engage, so you can get someone low and possibly out of the fight. I should also point out that you should try and fight near minions, as you often kill them without even noticing. This can lead to saving your life. Now let's have a look at the laning. There is not really much to say here. You will often see Hecarim and Irelia top these days. But both of these can be countered with Frozen Heart, as I mentioned before. However, there are two ways to counter Cho'Gath. You either get someone who has similar sustain, so Cho'Gath can't do much, someone like Vladimir. Or, because he has no escapes, someone who can prepare the kill for the jungler. Lissandra is really good at that, but if you prefer Bruisers, Olaf can rush through everything and possibly outstrate Cho'Gath. With this, I will end this video. I don't think that I will turn the tips and tricks into a regular series, but every time there is a champion that suddenly got popular, I will try and cover him. So thank you very much for watching, every single like is appreciated, and as always, thank you come again. All Battlecast add-ons online. Systems operational. Please proceed to click on the like button of this virtual presentation. Your emotions and feedback are acknowledged. Thank you for your time.